Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another plan with me in my a and Weeks planner. I'm actually really excited. You remember how the past couple of weeks, maybe a month, I've been talking about needing to do scripts for this, specifically for like this header right here? I did it! Oh, and I did it for, well, where am I? Here we go. Look, I've got the wake up scripts. All right, sorry, I had to whisper that. I'm super, super excited. All right, so let's get into this plan with me. We're gonna be doing it starting, what? August 22nd. So let me find the end to my washi, which I don't seem to ever be able to find. Um, yeah, and let's, let's get going on this beautiful plan with me and talk about I don't know. How about we talk about ice makers? So I think I mentioned it here that not too long ago I had to clean out our ice maker because it had kind of a funky smell to it. Um, we did realize that it was because our water filters from the zero water, which is where we get the water. So we take our water from the tap, put it into our filters that have zero water filters in them. And then we use that water there to then put in our ice maker. And then that's also the water that the kids use for their water bottles as well. So, um, we, uh, you know, my ice maker had this like funky smell to it. And I was like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't good. So I drained it, cleaned it, ran it with a cycle of vinegar in it, um, and all of that. And we had to ever so patiently wait for um, our zero water filters to come in because our local Walmart was out of them so I had to order them on Amazon. Luckily I don't live too far, I mean when I say too far, um, you know I mean too far. I don't live, I mean I can get Prime within a pretty decent time frame down here where we're at compared to our last location, which couldn't get anything on uh, within a good prime day. Okay, so we did red, orange, blue. Let's go ahead and do yellow. Okay. So I'm gonna actually pull out my scripts and I'm gonna put them down this time because why not? So I did, I took some time and I did a whole bunch of scripts and printed multiple pages and I now have two rings full of custom scripts because that's how I wanted things to be. <laughs> so yeah, so I do have my, and I labeled them so they're in my own folder on my computer so that I don't, so that I don't forget anything. So yeah, so I have, I have all of those. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get, get started. Where's my freebie page? There we go. You look like a good one, like you want to be part of this crew. So cleaned it out, it's all working well again. So now I am back to filling up my trusty dusty water bottle. Um, and uh, yeah my trusty dusty water bottle to uh, have not always by my side but pretty darn close by my side all the time and I'm actually really excited about that so this last week got some W's in it instead of some S's and for that I'm pretty thankful all right let's lay down our wiggle and let's get our date covers I feel like we've hit a good I feel like we've hit like a really good groove with this planner. I don't know about you, but I feel like like I know what I'm doing every week and it's almost like it's on autopilot. Like I don't have to think think too much about it. Um which I'm actually pretty grateful for because I sure do have to think in all the other planners and that one sure makes me uh sometimes forget what I'm supposed to be talking about here. So okay. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really thrilled about the ice maker and, um, and getting it back up and running. But at the same time, I'm also thrilled about that because 
we have chickens and it is hotter than Hades. Um, well, it's hotter than Hades everywhere, but we have been going out one to two times a day to add a big bucket of ice to the chicken's water. Um, we have a big five gallon um, water feeder for the first set of chickens we got. And we have that out and we actually need to attach it to the structure so that it's up off the ground so that they'll stop putting leaves and dirt in it because you know chickens chickens do that because they like to scratch and flick things so we're trying to um we need to put that up but we take a couple of frozen water bottles and we put it on the inside of that container because it's a sealed container up at the top and that keeps their water cold pretty much all day long and they have been loving it um so i haven't introduced but we have four new chickens so we are currently in quarantine right now but yeah i'm really really excited about that and i actually will be talking about the chickens in my next video um so yeah because that's a household planner we're not going to talk about chickens here although fried chicken is something tasty um yeah but that's because i'm a foodie so all right um, because I live down where it's super, super hot. Okay. So not too long ago, well, maybe long ago when we lived up in San Antonio, um, it was high time that we needed a new mattress and, um, I'm trying to see what I want to do here. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go down and we're just gonna put these down. I'm still really, really bad about the self-care portion, but I figure if I'm adding it, that is better than nothing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just what we're doing. We're just, we're just adding because it's better than nothing and it's, it's the reminder that it's, it's there. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so in San Antonio, we um, bought ourselves a new mattress. And I loved it. And partly because I could keep my room so cold that it actually wasn't bothersome because um, the bed kept me warm at night because it's one of those it's a nectar mattress um if you're familiar with with any of that um yeah let's go this so i we moved down to harlingen and it got really really hot but because we have three ac units for that house it kind of worked out pretty well um in that I could still keep the room cold and the mattress would be okay. There would be some times that I would get super hot, but not too bad. Well, now we're down here and I cannot get cool at all. I have a fan blowing on me. We have a dedicated AC unit in that room and I just cannot get cool. Um, now mind you, if I sleep on the other side, so like we've had, um, a cot set up so that anybody who wants to can come in and just lay down and chill. If I've slept on that, I actually have no problem staying cool. So I know it's the mattress. So we are on the hunt for a new mattress because this lady right here cannot continue to be super super hot she needs to she needs to be cool when she's sleeping um and i don't know what kind of a mattress that can that that i could do with that so i'm looking for recommendations if you guys all have one of those fancy schmancy mattresses which ones do you guys use that help keep you cool at night during this crazy thing we call summer um, we've looked into, um, what is it? Tuft and Needle. Uh, let's see, what else? 
what else? Um, Casper, Purple, and Nectar. Those are the four that we have we have looked at. Um, and I just don't know. I mean, they all claim to be like, oh, this, that, and the other. But, I mean, that's a lot of money to spend on a mattress, too. And I don't want to be um, disappointed that it's not what I expected. So, I do need a different mattress because I am just not sleeping well at night. Um, and I think that's just causing me to kind of stress out some. Um, which is leading to my neck not feeling well and me tightening up my muscles because I'm in a constant state of stress because I can't get cool. All right, where's my step stickers? So if you guys have any recommendations, um, you know, I like, I like to sleep with it pretty cold. Um, my philosophy is you can always... Um, Put on more clothing you can always put on more blankets there's only so much you can take off and you'd still be hot so um we're kind of into the point where um, i don't i don't i can't take off anymore not that i take off a lot anyways <laughs> it just came out really really bad just all the way around um but that philosophy i would like to feel comfortable um in the bed because it's cooler and who knows maybe by the time winter comes it will it will feel better but I don't know down here it doesn't get that cold so it's almost like I don't know so anything anything would help okay let me pull out my water trackers um last time um, so on Friday when I filmed this video, I know that I did not put the water trackers down on my spread. And I did that for good reason because I don't know how many sheets I have left and I don't want to run out, um, at an odd time. So I purposely left them out so that I could actually see what I got going on here. Um, let see what I actually have going on here to um, count. That's the, that's the word I was looking for, to count. How many I actually have going on so I know that when I need to place another order. Because it would really, really suck if I ran out like during this spread. Almost like the same way that it sucked when I ran out of step stickers when I was doing September's palette. Yeah. Talk about not planning and stuff. Okay, so I have one, two, three. Okay, I have basically two and a half sheets. I should be okay for a little while longer, but I wanted to just make sure. So, all right. What do we want to do? Okay, so I have it here with the wake ups. I need to go through my phone and I need to figure out what time I actually went to bed. Not technically what time I went to bed, what time I took my watch off. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Um, although I do know that I have not, I've not been sleeping well lately. So I don't know if it's my wake up times or it's my bedtimes. So I'm thinking for this upcoming week, tracking the bedtime since they're here and knowing that. And I'm wondering, because this will just be the wake up, the self-care. Um, I'm kind of thinking I need to do the same thing. Do I have enough? I don't have enough. Okay, that's fine because I could do, I could do this. I could do these again. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's add these here. And then I'm gonna add the script stickers. Um, just so I don't forget what I'm deciding to put down, because you know me, I will. Um, and that wouldn't be good. So, but yeah. 
Um, I am I'm so ready for it to start cooling down. Um, it is kind of it's just it's just miserable when it's so hot. Like I don't want to do anything. I mean nobody wants to do anything. It's just I mean the bugs are just oh the bugs the bugs the bugs are just rampant and that's just gross. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this guy off here. And I am actually going to put him over here because no sense in keeping <clears throat> no sense in keeping a full sheet when uh, you can combine. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. So yeah, I think I think this will be. I don't know. We'll see how this one works. Um, but I am kind of curious to know if it is my bedtime that's affecting how I am not sleeping well, or if it's continuously being my mattress. Um, I've never, I mean, my neck has never hurt this much. It's really not my neck. Um, it's just more of my shoulder muscles, and I think it's just because I'm in that constant state of stress um, during the nighttime because I can't cool down, and so I'm just constantly like, uh, uh, if that makes sense. All right, let me grab my scripts here, and let's find our wake up. Okay, and we need seven of those, and then we'll find the bedtimes. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to go through... A lot of wake up stickers um, but you know what I am okay with that that's why I got the custom scripts ready I actually uh, want to know how crazy I was I haven't done it yet but um, I created the scripts that I have here I have realized that I need do need a couple more but that's fine I can always do those at a at another time, but I did like a mass um, endeavor um, this last week. And um, I did it in four different font styles. So I was like, yeah, I want all these different font styles. Did I get to creating all of them ready for printing and cutting? No, but they're all ready in terms of ready to be designed into their own file and stuff like that. Yeah, that's how crazy I am. Um, so clearly, you know, I have, I have no chill when it comes to the custom scripts. All right, let's find the bedtime stickers. Like I said, I have a couple more that I'm going to have to make, um, and stuff, but let's see, let's see what we got going on here. Um, I don't know. There's been more things I've been wanting to add to this that I am thinking I might have to upgrade. If I keep going, I might have to upgrade to a B6 planner um, this next year, which makes me kind of sad because this is, I love this planner, but I'm like, what? You know, I, I, I'm, needing to, I'm needing to track some different things. Um, and I don't know if I have the space for this in this one yet. So, but look at that. Like, these are such easy, short videos. I hope you guys like them. They're like the perfect mid-week video. Knowing when you're like super busy, but you want to watch a video, but you don't have like a super big amount of time. Yeah, that's what I call these videos. Perfect mid-week videos. So, all right, let me get these sticky notes up to the front so that I can see what all colors we have when I put them back into my binder because that's what I do. As soon as I shut off the camera, I put the stuff back away. Otherwise, I'd be having stickers all over the place for days. So, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And everything's down in the description box. I mentioned this this last week. Um, vault sale will be September 20th through 24th. So if you like this palette, you'll be able to grab the five, um, the five base pages that we do. So you'd be able to get as many as you want out of those five base pages. And yeah, we, 
I gotta get this washi listed so you guys can pick that up too. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. You guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.